Welcome back now. We're talking politics, politics, politics for the last, I think, two, three months on Open Mind. So let's switch things up a bit now. I know the elections are over. We know the winners and the losers. So let's get back sort of to regular programming. But we're going to talk art now. And I mean art in every sense of the word. We're going to be talking about art and lifestyle and, you know, how that industry is faring in Nigeria and what is going on with the entire sector. Here with me, of course, Jumaki Adeko, an art blogger. Thanks for coming. And of course, we have a few Paul. Thanks for being here today. Thank you very much. Everybody. Let's start with you, Jumake. What's Why are you blogging about arts? Like, who blogs about arts? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the question. Who does? Yeah. Uh, I, I guess Jumake does. I guess it's crazy, right? <laughs> um, well, I, unfortunately for me, I had this idea to start something, you know, awesome. And I thought of art. I don't know why I did that. But I decided to um, switch up the pace, you know, everybody blogs about fashion, about music, about all the general stuff, so, and I write, I write fiction, so I thought, hmm, I really should blog about that, I should blog about artists and art and how to get your stuff out there, so, yeah, so that's why, that's how, how I How long have you done this for? Um, I have been doing this for, um, roughly over a year now. Our yeah. response has been? Uh, it's it was it was hard to sell the idea, but it, it's getting round. It is. Okay. Yeah. If you're not here, spoken word for word. Yeah, we a lot of us know you. Yeah. We've yeah. seen you yeah. do your stuff and all of that. Why? Why that? Why did you choose it? I chose you. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I think it's 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 always a difficult question to answer yes. for me. Uh, but I think it usually starts with allowing for me that is it started with allowing other voices into my head. You know, I've always read. I've always read books. You know, and in reading books, you know, I I always, you know, got the feeling that I could also do this. You know, so my attempt to 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 imitate what I read, you know, translated into poetry. But every time I tried to write poetry, I realized I was writing more with my mouth. You know, and sound has been an integral, you know, part of my writing process. So I think, you know, basically. So yes, maybe it chose me. How long have you done this for? Yeah, let's see, about 15, 16 years, give or take. Okay, now you are definitely <laughs> the one to watch. And I, I've had a conversation with friends a few times about poetry in particular, you know, about how, you know, literature in general or literary uh, community in general has, there's a lot of branches to it, of course, yeah, religious yeah, writers, yeah. fiction, and all of that. Poetry is always a very tricky one, especially now I'm talking monetary wise now with rewards and all of that. How do you make money as a poet? Without giving away too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think um, the best way to make money from poetry is to not plan to make money from okay. poetry. You know, just basically go into it because you love it that you have a passion and a gift, you know, for it primarily. But I, I think what's happening and what's been happening over the last 10 to 20 years is you're, we're, we're having a resurgence of um, performance poetry. Okay. You know, people say uh, the readership for poetry is declining. In a sense, it's true. Okay. You'd be hard pressed to actually find a publisher who will publish a collection of poetry. That's what I was asking, because I mean, it's, it's not mm -hmm. very. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes because they feel, I mean, it's, 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 it's a risky investment to make because the readership is declining. Yeah. But the irony is, the, the audience for poetry is actually expanding because people are, 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 are listening more to poetry via performance than they are on books. Exactly. So what that does is it makes it easier to monetize because you have people who call you up for events. Okay, so now you're, you're performing. So you're, you're, you're performing. Oh. So I mean, you do, you do weddings, you do birthdays, you do funerals, interestingly, about yeah. general, oh, really? and you do, yeah. and you do you know, award ceremonies or different, you know, other kinds of gigs. So I think you monetize primarily via events and then you have books and CDs. Yeah. CDs. I, I asked that question, I'm going to come to you. I mean, you are... You are an art blogger in general, so yeah. you cover a lot of these other sectors. I cover, I cover everything. And um, I know I've been at a, at a World Economic Forum uh, event one time when a lady stood up and she talked about, complained about her husband pretty much, and how he's in the arts and he writes books and he almost looks as if he's not interested in being rich. And it's a reputation that people in the arts sometimes have, you know. Yeah. Once you have your natural hair, you know. <laughs> and have a mansion or something like that, and you would live comfortably. 
if you're you're talented if you're good yes you will live comfortably but you have to be willing to push it you have to be willing to promote it you have to be willing to go through the long hard years of suffering otherwise you are just wasting your time you cannot do it for two years and say oh i've given up it's not working um, i should get go get a job now then you really should get a job because yeah. obviously you're not meant to be doing this but if you are meant to be doing this it's going to it's going to bite at you. It's going to want. It's going to want to come out. It's going to want a form of expression. It's going to need to be expressed and to be shown out there. So you giving up, you saying, "Oh, I'm not doing this." It's fine for you to say, "Oh, I'm doing this for myself," but for you to say you're not doing it at all, you know. But obviously, you don't want to make money from it. You don't make money from it. But making money from it, I mean, there's so many types of art there's poetry is there's you cover? um everything i cover music and even now i, I dabble in fashion because fashion is also there's some kind of some form of art but i do everything um stories fiction non-fiction um poetry non um poetry um spoken words sometimes um i do regular news from entertainment visual arts, visual arts um, paintings pictures you know all the regular stuff and i do love a good a good painting i mean it's not it's not going to fetch you loads of money if you if you're just starting out but if you're good it will eventually I mean, you might have a painter on the show at some point and i really want to ask about that because i know painting sometimes you see the price and you're like really <laughs> 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 for this much? No, I I know. Know. They do. They uh, do. some price tags that's I'm like okay Okay, that's, that, that, that's that's interesting. But I want to talk. She just mentioned something there now about you know knowing you want to do something. And I've met people a lot who started off saying I have a passion for this. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to be a writer or I have a passion for poetry. In year two years, you really kind of country we live in. Your mother calls it wise and like my friend, my uncle, <laughs> or my my friend. Uh, works in this bank he has given me a letter come on and start mm -hmm. working you know mm -hmm. and at a point you just you have to give up at some point because maybe the pressure is too yeah. much yeah so how do you weather all of that especially in an industry where it's still i, I would say misunderstood in nigeria yeah, yeah. I, I think to a very large extent it's almost impossible to suppress or kill a passion entirely you know if someone really has a passion for something will always be there you know the, I mean, they'll always be there. Not, not always. I mean, there's some people who really have a passion and eventually, you know, do give up. But I think they're in the minority. You know, most people actually do stick, you know, through it. Um, so for, for me, I, that's, that's why I said money is important, but it shouldn't be the primary motivation. Because um, art is quite large. For music, music is also art. Music is, I mean, comedy to a large extent to its art in itself. You know, and it's a big business here. You know, but you have art forms like poetry, like painting, like... Um, like fiction and non-fiction, which um, is not exactly as mainstream as music or yeah. as comedy, you know. So for you to to make anything of it, you know, in that in that um, in those fields, you have to be really good. You have to be really really good. Yeah. You know, as a musician, you can get away with a lot. Yes. Get a good beat. Get a good and because of the you know, yeah. strong yeah. enough hustle, yeah. and you can push you through. You know, but but with art, it's not that yeah. easy. I mean, you, you have, have to have be, it. You have to be. Mm -hmm. Manda, I want to show you that type of good to yeah. really make the kind of money yeah. that the equivalent to what the musician or comedian yeah. is making. You know, so I mean, if if you have a passion, it will.